Radiant Space Comes Out of Invisibility to raise $27.5 million for orbital space shuttle development. An artist's rendering shows Radiant's reusable space plane. More than five years after its founding, Renton, Washington, based Radiant Aerospace is emerging from stealth mode and reporting a $27.5 million seed funding round to support its plans to build an orbital space plane. The round was led by Boston-based Fine Structure Ventures, with additional funding from Exor, the Venture Collective, Helios Capital, Space Fund, Gain Gels, the Private Shares Fund, Explorer One Fund, Type One Ventures and other investors. Radian has previously brought in pre-seed investments, but the newly announced funding should accelerate its progress. One of the company's investors and strategic advisors, former Lockheed Martin executive Doug Greenlaw, said Radian was going after the holy grail of space access with a fully reusable system that would provide for single-stage two-orbit launches. ITLL take much more than $27.5 million to grab the grail. In the late 1990s, NASA spent nearly a billion dollars on Lockheed Martin's X-33 single-stage two-orbit concept before the project was cancelled in 2001. But Radian's executives argue that technological advances have now brought the SSTO vision within reach. What we are doing is hard but it's no longer impossible thanks to significant advancements in material science, miniaturization and manufacturing technologies, Livingston Holder, Radian's co-founder and chief technology officer, said today in a news release. Holder was part of the U.S. Air Force's manned spaceflight engineer program in the 1980s and went on to become a program manager at Boeing, focusing on reusable space systems. The design for Radian's space plane was inspired by Boeing's 1970s-era concept for a reusable aerodynamic space vehicle, or RAF. For the past few years, Radian has been working on rocket engine development at its Renton headquarters and at a testing facility near Bremerton, Washington. Ars Technica reported that the liquid-fueled engine is designed to provide about 200,000 pounds of thrust, and that the space plane would be powered by three of the engine. The current design would support carrying up to five people and 5,000 pounds of cargo into orbit, Ars Technica reported. Radian says its space plane, called Radian 1, would make sled-assisted takeoffs and airplane-like runway landings, with a turnaround time of as little as 48 hours between missions. Over time, we intend to make space travel nearly as simple and convenient as airliner travel, said Richard Humphrey, Radian CEO and co-founder. We are not focused on tourism, we are dedicated to missions that make life better on our own planet, like research, in-space manufacturing and terrestrial observation, as well as critical new missions like rapid global delivery right here on Earth. Previously, Radian Aerospace pursues an unorthodox plan for orbital space plane the company hasn't announced a timetable for development or operations but its founders hope to have the plane available to service commercial space stations that could be in orbit by the 2030. Radian says it already has launch service agreements with commercial space station ventures as well as in-space manufacturers, satellite operators and cargo companies, plus agreements with the U.S. government and selected foreign government. For what it's worth, one of Radian's early-stage investors is Dylan Taylor, chairman and CEO of Voyager Space Holding. Voyager Space is one of the partners in a commercial space station project known as Starlab. On-demand space operations is a growing economy, and I believe Radian's technology can deliver on the right-sized, high-cadence operations that the market opportunity is showing, Taylor said. I am confident in the team working at Radian and look forward to cheering them along in this historical endeavor. We've reached out to Radian for further comment and will update this report with anything we hear back.